Hi, it's Lucy, and today I'm going to be doing an Owl Crate unboxing. You might be thinking, Lucy, didn't you recently do an Owl Crate unboxing, and weren't you like unhappy with it? And you would be correct. That video is linked in the cards. I wasn't a huge fan of the Owl Crate version of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, the items in the box, as well as the edition they sent, but I decided to get this. This is the Winter Wishes Owl Crate. I didn't even know it existed. I didn't even know this book was coming out until like the day it came out. For some reason, I completely missed it. I was really intrigued by the book. Plus, I still follow Owl Crate on like Instagram and I'm still in their emails. And so I saw the sneak peeks they did and I know that I'm going to enjoy at least one item potentially two because I know that there is a bag of tea in here and I know that they are doing the mugs in this one. In the last Owl Crate unboxing I did, I thought we were going to get a mug and it ended up being like a travel mug thing, but I wanted like a regular mug. So this definitely has that according to their sneak peek. Hopefully I enjoy the tea flavor and then that'll be two things that I definitely will enjoy. Plus, I think there are like three or four more other things. I feel like if I just enjoy one extra thing, then the box will be worth it. And I have no self-control. That's the real reason I bought this box. So let's just open it. Here we go. This is the box. You're seeing it before me. The Winter Wishes box. And this is the spoiler card. I enjoyed the steaming. There are, once again, many worms. I know they're there to keep the items safe, but it's really annoying. This is the mug. Owl Crate exclusive mug. It is dishwasher and microwave safe, which is great. And it's inspired by Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. And I love it. It's a beautiful color. I really need more mugs. This is part of the reason I got this box. This is the mug. One day the wind would blow and the temperature would drop. And in the middle of the night, a frost would creep over my threshold. That was supposed to be said as one sentence. Pretend I did that. But yes, I think this mug is beautiful. I really like it and it has a little owl on the bottom. The next thing I see is this bag, two bags, bookish gift bag set. Okay, this is the bookish gift bag set. It comes with this big bag and this teeny bag. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this. Oh, I'm supposed to rate the items. So the mug, I would give five stars. I enjoy it, it looks like a mug. Um, it probably at least holds a cup of liquid. So I'm happy with this. This I would give, I feel like I have to decide at the end, but right now I think I would probably give it two stars because this is not useful to me at all. And like, what is the point of this? I will look at the spoiler card after to see the point of it, I guess. Next thing is this cooling gel eye mask. Do you wear these to sleep? So it comes in this little bag. This is what the front says. She has counted time in seconds and in seconds in cold snaps and in thaws and uprisings in uprisings and in aftermaths. That was kind of hard to read. Um, okay, so it says, use this gel eye mask as a way to relieve stress, headaches, and fatigue. Simply store in the fridge for 15 to 30 minutes until the beads have cooled. Use the adjustable straps to hold the mask on your head while you sit back and relax. I'm not not a fan. This is not something I would have gotten for myself, but I think it's nice to have. And I thought it was like a sleeping mask and I was like, I'm not gonna use this. But as like something to relax, like instead of a face mask or something, you use this. And so I would give this three stars. Okay, I think there's two more items. I'm pretty sure this is a pen, it comes in a cardboard box. Okay. I literally have no idea what this is. I don't know what this is. I think it's like a, a scoop of some kind, but I don't know why it has this clip. Okay, the spoiler card will have to be opened for that. So I'm not gonna write this because I do not know what this is at all. I don't know, yeah, I don't know what this would be used for. Maybe it's to scoop out tea? That is so weird. What? <laughs> Either get in or you get out. This is Sweet Sorrow in Winter Mint Tea. It says it has peppermint, it's decaf, and it has vanilla cocoa nibs. Oh, we were so close. So this was exactly what I was worried about with the flavor, because I'm not a huge fan of chocolate mint, but I'll probably still drink this because I have it. Maybe this goes with the tea. I really have no idea. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed with the flavor, but it's not their fault. This is a very wintry flavor and I will still drink it, so. Yeah, and it is from Waking From A Thaw. No, it is called Waking From A Thaw. This was an Owl Crate exclusive flavor that Riddle's Tea Shop made. Okay, I think probably the pin is next and, oh, there's two more things. Ah, a candle, no. I think this is a candle. Yes, Ugh, I'm excited. 
So what did I say? I think I would give this four stars because I like that it's tea. I don't like the flavor. This is a candle. Ugh, it smells really good. Like really nice and vanilla-y with like a little bit of mint. It's very nice. It's called Coldest Snow Sharpest Glass and it's from Natural Annie Essentials. It's hand poured in Connecticut. I'm really a fan of the way it smells actually. Hopefully it doesn't give me a headache like the last candle we got from Owl Crate, which was a different company and also it was just likely the scent. The old candle was a scent that I would not have ever chosen for myself and so I'd never really experienced that. This is something I would probably buy. So this is even more of a five star. So I'm really excited about this. I didn't realize this was gonna be included. So that's exciting. And I think the last thing now is the pin and then the book. And Tucker wants the worms. Here's the pin. Normally I pick up the pin first, but it wasn't on the top. So it says Universe of Wishes, which is the book in this box. We also get some coupons. I guess they do these reading playlists for every box maybe. I never listen to things because I, once again, prefer my own music but this is fine. And then they gave us a coupon for Natural Annie Essentials. Let's get the book out. This is the book, A Universe of Wishes, edited by Danielle Clayton. This is what it looks like without the plastic. It is white. This is an anthology from We Need Diverse Book. And I really enjoyed the last We Need Diverse Books anthology that I read. So I was excited for this and just the whole idea of it was really interesting to me. This is, I think, just a diverse collection of short stories and I'm interested in it and it's also edited by Danielle Clayton so I am intrigued by it. So this is the cover. I don't remember what the real cover looks like. Let me look. So this is the regular cover. This is the Owl Crate cover. So they just uh, made the black white. Seems like that's basically the only change. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't know if the end pages are different but this is the end pages and I think there's something on the front. Yes. So this I really like. I like that they added that. So the end papers are exclusive. I looked them up and this letter comes signed by Danielle Clayton and this is her signature. I hope you can see it. And it comes with like a little bookmark. Can you see that? It's hard to tell because it's white. Tucker's gonna try and eat it any minute now. He's also in my lap in case anyone was wondering. Wow it's Lucy from the future but just the cover of the book. So I'm inserting this clip just because while I was filming, Tucker was being distracted and I didn't notice something about the bookmark. Basically, the bookmark is actually too short. For example, like right now, I'm trying to find a page the bookmark is on. I couldn't do it. Yeah, the bookmark is too short for the book. So it's really hard to like use. <laughs> like that's the end of the bookmark. So that's pretty disappointing. If you're going to add the special bookmark, it should be usable in my opinion. So there's that. How do I feel? Let me get this okay so this is apparently a stainless steel coffee slash teaspoon and its handle doubles as a bag clip which is nice but the bag that they sent us is resealable anyway so that's weird do i really need a teaspoon also is it a teaspoon this looks too big to be a teaspoon like the measurement i'll have to like check on the measurements of this But this, I'm gonna give two stars because I would have preferred like a tea strainer. I already have one, but I feel like that would be more useful with this loose leaf tea. Not a strainer, what is it called? The thing you put the tea in to like steep it. I forgot what you call it. Tucker wants to eat this too. But yes, so this I think I'm gonna give two stars. What did I say this gets? Four stars? These are a one star for me, dog. It feels weird that they're giving you something to give to other people. Although I do appreciate the sentiment. I would have preferred like a book cozy or whatever people are putting their books in now. Okay, so I guess a mug would fit. But yeah, I don't. Do you ask for it back when after you give someone something? Like how does this work? Am I, do I just give it away? Like I just don't, I don't like this. And also like regular gift bags are reusable if you ever get one. Like they are made of like paper and plastic. So they're not great for the environment. But you can reuse those a lot of times as long as you don't rip them. Which... I don't know, I've had gift bags for years. A one star for me, dog. This tiny one, I don't know what goes in it. What did I say for this? I think three stars because I can use it. I would have never purchased it on my own, but I can use it. The mug gets five stars. This gets five stars. So that's two five star things and a four star thing. So I feel like I always end these unboxings feeling ambivalent. So I really should stop 
getting them. I'm not really planning to get any more. I just was really excited about this book, so I got it. But yeah, it's not my favorite. Also, we get the pin, but I, I know I go into these paying for the pin, but I don't really collect pins. I have a collection now, but I don't, like, what do you do with enamel pins? You just like show them off. They're not a huge deal to me, even though I do consider them valuable, but I don't rate them because I, I know I'm not gonna like it that much, if that makes sense. Like, but it, the box says they include it, so I feel like I can't really say, oh, this is bad. Like, this is really an I guess situation because I feel like most loose leaf tea bags come with like a resealable thing anyway, like a Ziploc thing. Like, every bag I've had has come like this. And like, I just use a spoon I use to stir this tea. I don't, whatever. <laughs> So that's the end of this unboxing. Was Owl Crate redeemed? I don't know, you know? Uh, what does Tucker think? He doesn't know either. He doesn't even know where he is. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this box, let me know how you felt about it. If you didn't get this box, let me know if you feel like you missed out or anything. If you agree with me and my opinions. I am excited for the book. Here it is. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me an owl emoji in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Meow, 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 meow.